A sigh of relief from gold investors today. Bullion getting a bounce and holding that key 1700 level. The action is not in stocks today, it's in gold. I'm Jackie DeAngelis. This is Futures Now, the only show dedicated to the multi trillion dollar futures market. Rich El Chisen is in Chicago on the floor of the CME. Anthony Grisanti is at the NYMEX. Guys, let's start with gold. Uh-huh. It's not a big move, but it's an important move. Rich, why is this move so crucial right now? Well, listen, the $1,700 is going to be a key uh, uh, area of trade. We know that every $100 of gold is going to get some interest across the board. I don't necessarily feel that gold's had uh, uh, the downdraft that we can consider. Back out your daily chart, back it out a few months. In fact, go out a year. And this time last year, we had a substantial break in gold as people took off all, all the risk and went into safety for a few months and then reallocated after the first year. Now, if that's the case, I'm probably looking more closer to 1600 or even below to 1550, which was that previous low, 1520. So really, the jury's out still here for me. I wouldn't read too much into this pop right now. You know, Rich, I understand what you're saying, that 1700 is a very good support level, as, as deep as Chicago-style pizza. But I think the difference between <laughs> last, year and this year, <laughs> last year and this year is the fact that there's so much uncertainty coming into the end of the year. you got the fiscal cliff, the elections, everything else. So I think that holds up the gold market, and we don't see it really trade below the 1690 level. All right, well, the uncertainty certainly is key. I want to bring in the ultimate gold bug, though. That's Euro-Pacific's Peter Schiff. He is the author of The Real Crash, America's Coming Bankruptcy. Peter, from the title of your book, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that you like gold. Well, sure. In fact, 1700, one day we're going to look back at 1700 with nostalgia, People are going to be shocked at how inexpensive gold was when it could be snapped up for such a bargain price. And it's not going to take too long, just in a few years. I mean, we're talking gold 5,000. That's not the ceiling. That might end up being the low end of the range that we're going to be into. Remember, Ben Bernanke has promised to print over a trillion dollars in 2013. I think he's going to print more than that. It's not going to revive the economy. It's not going to create jobs, but it will help destroy the dollar. But Peter, and that is going to send gold higher. Peter, he's been printing for a while, and we haven't seen that move in gold. So what's going to really well, be the what, catalyst? What do you mean we haven't seen a move in gold? Gold was at $300 an ounce a decade ago. Where was the stock market a decade ago? About the same level it is today. So we've already seen a spectacular run-up in the price of gold. But my point is that run-up is going to continue into the future. In fact, I think it's going to accelerate because the pace of inflation is accelerating. The government is debasing the dollar even faster now, and it will debase it even faster in the future. And so gold's got only one direction to go, and that's higher. Peter, let me push back a little bit. This is Rich at the CME in Chicago. You're talking about $5,000 an ounce. There's a few things wrong with that number, in my opinion. Who's going to be able to afford it? If gold's $5,000 an ounce and we're at $1,700 now, who's going to be able to buy that? And the exchanges will raise the margin so high. And if, if we have a $30 or $40 move now with gold at $1,700 and we're at $5,000, we're sweeping three, dollars $400 a day. Who's going to be able to trade gold at $5,000? Of course people will be able to buy it. They'll just buy less of it. I mean, look, gold was at 300 It's gone up five-fold. People are still buying it. 5000 is barely more than a double uh, from where we are now. People will be buying it. More people will be buying gold at 5000 that are buying it today. They'll just be buying less of it because it's going to be more expensive, which is why I want to get, buy my gold now before it gets too more expensive. Peter, uh, Anthony Grisanti, let's say that gold does go to 5000 what does that say for the dollar? Where is it going to be trading at that point? I mean, I'm looking at the dollar index trading as 79 handle right now. Uh, can you give us an idea of where that would be if yeah, gold well, did go to I think I think gold is going to go up against all currencies. So it's not just Americans who have to worry about losing power, purchasing power. It's Europeans. Uh, it's Asians. Uh, central banks all around the world are being too loose. That said, I think that gold is going to make a much bigger move in terms of dollars than it will in terms of other currencies, including the currencies that are in the dollar index. So I think ultimately the dollar index is going to be cut in half at a minimum. So you're talking of a dollar index around 40. But potentially, if we don't change our policies, uh, the dollar index could go a lot lower than that. Peter, let's hold on the dollar index for a second and go back to your price target on gold. What What kind of time horizon are we looking at here? Well, I think you're going to see a big move sometime in the next couple of years, because I think 
we're going to have a real uh, fiscal cliff that we're going to go over, not this phony pothole that we're probably not going to go over because politicians will once again do the wrong thing and cancel these minimal spending cuts, and we're going to continue to go towards the, the real fiscal cliff uh, which looms on the horizon. But I think we're going to have a monetary crisis, a dollar crisis. Right now, people are more worried about Europe, and so that's buying us some time. But at some point, the spotlight is going to go where it belongs, right back on the U.S., because we've got a bigger debt problem than Europe. And we're going to have this crisis of confidence in the dollar, in the Treasury market. And the only safe haven from that is gold. Okay. All right. Peter Schiff, he's bullish on gold, looking at $5,000 over the next couple of years. Thank you so much for coming on Futures Now. Of course, he's the author of The Real Crash, America's Coming Bankruptcy. Well, Peter, guys, is obviously a long-term bull, but Grizz, I'm looking for a short-term trade here. What are you doing with gold right now? Yeah, absolutely, Jackie. I mean, he mentioned QE, he mentioned the fiscal cliff, he mentioned the uncertainty in the markets, and also inflation, which the FOMC meeting, they did mention that a little bit yesterday. So I'm looking to buy it right above that $1,700 level at $1,702. My stop is at $1,693. I'm not looking for it to quite to go to $5,000. $1,725 is my target to get out of this trade. Uh, it, it's a short little trade, and it really plays to the end of the year. Hey, Grizz, this is futures now, not futures yesterday. That was yesterday's trade. If the market gets back down to 1700 I think they break that 1690 And really, we talked about 1690 to 87 I would probably adjust that entry point. Watch out, because if we retest 1700 they're going to check for stops below I still, your levels. I don't see that, Rich. I don't see that at all. I still see a lot of uncertainty in the market. I see a lot of problems going into this world, a lot of uncertainty. I don't understand why anybody would sell gold at this point, coming in the end of the year, elections and everything else. All right, well, we're differing here just on a little bit. Of course, Rich is looking for a little bit of a low lower entry point. Anthony is saying buy it now. So let's break down his gold trade with a little risk reward. When trading gold futures, each dollar move is worth $100. So Grizz is looking for a 23 point move. That means that he's hoping to make $2,300. He's risking nine points or $900 to get there. That's a two and a half to one payout if you go with this gold trade.